Many of my patients come to my office and they refuse to have uh, Botox treatment. They usually tell me that when they're walking in the street, they saw some people that have very thick lips and they don't like this. Usually they're mistaken. These patients that have very big lips and, or very thick lips, they don't have a Botox treatment. This is a complete different treatment. I'm going to try to explain to you what Botox treatment is. Botox, or the other drugs, is a medication. It's a drug that reduces the strength of contraction. And there are, in fact, several versions of this. We can have Botox, we have Vistabel, we have Azalor, we have Bocotor, and all these products basically are exactly the same. Once the doctor mix it with uh, sealing or with water, it uh, dissolves and the product that we are actually injecting in the skin is exactly the same thing. The way we use it today is to apply or inject very small amounts or very small quantities of Botox in these muscles that contribute in defining wrinkles and lines in the face. What we are looking for is not really um, disappearing of wrinkles, we are looking at a reduction in the wrinkles we see. But we have to inject small amounts of Botox so that we can reduce the wrinkles that we have in the face, but at the same time we can maintain these contractions such as um, the elevation of the forehead or the contraction of the glabella. And we can show our emotions such as happiness, surprise or strange. The first thing that we have to take into account when treating a patient is the needle that we are going to use. Usually doctors in this country use a needle which is 30 gauge. We have to bear that the higher the number is, the smaller the needle is. So we like to use a special needle that is usually not sold in Europe, which is 32 gauge. With this, we increase the comfort of patient. One of the first areas to treat is the crow's feet. If you treat the crow's feet very low, we might change the shape of smile. So we tend to inject first on the equator line and then upper, closer to the edge of the eyebrow. If we treat the edge of the eyebrow, we can lift it up so that we give a very oriental appearance of the eyebrow, which is something that patients like. If we want to raise the eyebrow a little more, we have to inject small amounts of uh, Botox on the central part of the eyebrow. But this sometimes gives uh, this appearance of surprise or strange face that patients don't like. The second area that we like to treat is the glabella. The glabella usually shrinks for a long time and after many, many years, we start drawing new lines that give us this appearance of I am angry. We have to inject some Botox at the center of this glabella and also at the sides. The third area that we are treating is the forehead. The forehead is important to be treated completely because if we concentrate too much on the central parts of the medial parts, we are blocking the elevation of the eyebrows only in the medial parts of the face so that the lateral sides of the eyebrows start lifting and we give this appearance of demon-like or evil-like. We have to inject small amounts, but all over the forehead, from the center to the right, from the center to the left.